Alright, what's up guys? So, I've been trying to figure out how to record both my computer's audio and the audio from my microphone at the same time on my Mac. I've been trying to figure out a good way to do it all in one so I don't have to, you know, edit in one audio track with another. And looking on the internet, I found this video. Mac record both system audio and mic input on Mac OS X Lion at the same time. Now this video was from almost a year ago and I'm assuming the programs he used have been updated because there are some differences. For instance you can see uh, right here in the top right corner he's got Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 16 channel but the program now has Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 64 and it works um, the uh, tips he gives in this video a lot of them worked but some of I mean up to a point it worked as in I'm able to hear and record my input from my microphone but not the computer's audio itself and a lot of people in the comments of the video are having the same problem as I were, as I was, because it's 24 or 64 channel, excuse me. And I messed around with it a bit, and I actually figured out a way. So I am now sharing that way uh, with you. Now, first of all, the programs you need are Soundflower and Line In, and I will put a link to his video in the description of mine, and. In his description, you can find, as you see here, the links you need. Now, just a quick overview. Um, well, quickly to show you that I'm doing this. As you can see, every time I speak, this audio spectrum bounces, and the same thing right here. So you are getting input from my microphone, and up here in the uh, upper left. And just to show you that the computer audio is actually coming through as well um, I will play you a clip from uh, a song I wrote um, so take a look at this here the spectrum this spectrum on the audio recording and um, and just take a look real quick as you can see flickering here, the spectrum is going up and down, and it's bouncing with the beat right here as well. And over here on the right side. So as you can see, this is working. I don't even know if you can hear me at the moment. Because balancing is one of the few issues I'm having. So let me just... Slapping my, snapping my fingers and getting as much input as the audio I'm recording as well. So, I'm going to pause this now and just show you guys how to do this real quick. So when you have these two programs, um, install Soundflower and what you get is Soundflower Bed. When you start that, up here in the, I'm not even sure what this is called up here, up here in the bar at the top, you'll get this. And in his video he says, turn Soundflower 2 channel to off and Soundflower 64, in his one Soundflower 16 to built-in output and then his following instructions were based off that now what I did was I switched that I put Soundflower 64 to off and Soundflower 2 to built-in input and then over here with this program line in which he also has you download duplicate it so you have two instances of this application open them both the first one what you need to do is input from built-in microphone internal microphone select that from here output to soundflower 64 channel and pass through the second one soundflower 2 channel which over here is the built-in uh, output that's the computer's audio itself and then output to Soundflower 64 channel and then pass that through. See what these two things are doing 
they're taking the input from the microphone and the input from the computer's audio itself and merging them onto a single um, audio option, Soundflower 64 channel. And over here, make sure input in the, in the system preferences under sound, make sure input is on Soundflower 64 channel and output is on Soundflower 2. This way, what you're hearing is the um, what you're hearing is um, the built-in out uh, built-in output. Excuse me. What's coming through on your headphones is the computer's audio. See, if you set this to channel 24 or er, 64, Soundflower 64 channel, you're also going to be hearing your own voice and there's a little bit of a delay um, through the audio processes and whatnot. So if you're recording something, chances are you don't want to hear your own voice a second later. It'll throw you off. So leave this output on Soundflower 64, your Soundflower, excuse me, Soundflower, Soundflower 2 channel, and the input. That's one other problem I'm having. Um, Soundflower 64 channel. Input on Soundflower 64. All right, I was distracted by this. Now, a problem I am having every time I try and I record with QuickTime, I just open up a new audio recording, and you see the spectrum there. Now, a couple things I have to say have this on Soundflower 64 that way you're getting the internal microphone and the computer audio recording at the same time now the reason this was recording and then it quit I don't know why but every time I finish recording and then it pops up something like this a window like this for the audio recording I just made every time I try and play it it crashes but it still saves it so you have to find where it's automatically putting that file. Now it just crashed as well, but the reason the audio is still there is because the program I'm using, Screen Capture Tool, to record my this video, it gives me the option of where to record the audio from, and I chose Soundflower 64 channel. Now for some reason, through this program, the audio is only coming through the left side of my headphones. Now I might be able to fix that um, in an e in editing software, but I'm not sure if that's something that I will be able to do. So that is one sort of problem I'm having, but it does at least give you a way to record this, even if it's just coming through one side, even if it takes some extra work. All right, I am actually going to post this as hopefully a video response if he allows it. Otherwise, it'll just I'll post it in a comment on this video because I know it will help a lot of people. Um, and hopefully, if you're just in need of, I mean, if you're seeing a, a video of this nature for the first time, hopefully it'll help you out. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video, which I'm actually going to edit into the end of the. Uh, well, at, to the end of this video, I guess, because I was having that issue where using this screen uh, capture program with the Soundflower 64 channel uh, audio enabled, um, the audio was only coming through the left side of my headphones on the playback for that screen capture video. So I did open that in Final Cut Pro and let me just delete this real quick and drag it in again for the first time double click on it and go to stereo and pan is actually on negative one that puts it all the way on the left side if you change that to zero then it evens out immediately and I just render a little bit of the audio and 
Alright, what's up guys? So, I've been trying to figure out how to program now, and I messed around with it a bit, and I, and now it's playing on both sides. So I don't know if you have Final Cut Pro, I mean, it's, I'm assuming a lot of you don't, it's, it's definitely not free like the other software here. But if you have editing software, you can probably find a way to do this online, um, iMovie or whatever you have. So, hopefully this... Um, helped round out the final issues with this. I mean, it's it's as simple. It's almost as simple as it could possibly be once you get everything set up. So once again, thank you for watching, and have a good night.